Hello, today we are going to be building our very first boat. So let's get started. We have a few things that we have here. Um, You can just read the description here. We have our helm. We This is for steering our boat, you know, changing the direction and giving it throttle. Then we have our battery. Um, this will give us power to our engines and things like that. Lights. We have also our engine. This is a diesel engine. This is going to be a bit too big. We're going to be using a smaller version of that today. That'll give us power um, and torque. Then we have our propeller. That'll be connected to our engine and will actually be giving us power. So now that we've, we're done with that, we're going to start in with our boat. So I'm just going to come ahead with all these. We have a few things that we'll need. Okay, now we're going to get our hull. So our hull, it's very important. You need a hull, otherwise your boat won't float. But uh, we're just going to put our helm at the front of the boat here. And um, so we can drive it. Uh, one good thing to keep in mind, guys, is that you need your boat needs to be airtight. So there can't be a bunch of holes in it. I'm just checking logic right now. And uh, the reason it has to be airtight is because if it's not airtight, then it'll basically sink and you won't be able to use it very much. We're going to put our battery right here. Uh, we're not going to have very many battery outputs or needs for this battery, but we're just going to put it there anyways. Okay, then right here, we're going to add our engine. So this is a very big engine. I'm actually not going to use this. I'm going to type in and put in medium engine. This is going to be a smaller engine. It's going to give us less power, but again, we don't want it to be too heavy because these engines are very big and heavy. So as you can see, this is the smaller engine that we'll be using today. Um, if you come down here, you'll need a pipe. Um, this is RPS, so this is going to give us our power and it's going to be connected to our propeller. We'll just come down through here, right here. We're going to add our pipe all the way down. And then we're going to come and take off actually these two pieces because obviously we'll need to... Yeah, there you go. There's our pipe. I'm just going to leave that like that for the moment. We're going to add our propeller there a bit later. Now, if we come here, um, we will add our batteries good. Now that we're not going to actually put anything in this compartment, but we're not going to need to get a gas tank um, or a fuel tank. This will give us power to our engine. Now, if you don't want to get into this, there's a um, change. There's a setting that you can change and you can make it infinite electric and infinite fuel. So you won't need to add any of that in your, you can just not put a fuel tank and not put a battery. Um, it's just that it won't run if that's not on. So right now I'm going to make it with the battery and the fuel tank so the ship can actually run by itself. And now what we need is we're going to need to get some different types of pipes. We're going to get a angled pipe and also a T-shaped pipe because that's what we're going to need. We're going to have to join them together. Um, you know, guys, you can also follow along here. I'm going to put this uh, build on workshop and you can actually go right ahead and use this. I'm also going to have multiple videos on how to build this. We're actually going to make a whole series about this little boat and all until it's finished. We're going to add a bunch of different things in it. So yeah, if you want to see more of these videos, please go to my YouTube channel. It'll be down in the link below. Um, now we're going to get a few yeah fluid port now this is very important for us the reason we're going to need a fluid port is we need to give our engines coolant now um, as you can see the bottom ones right there are coolant and the output the top ones are exhaust so what we're going to do is we're actually going to come and delete two holes below us we're going to take our fluid ports make sure that the um hole there is facing the right way like you can see a hole there because if you don't have it there, then it won't work. Uh, we're just going to take our pipe, go up straight one and then get a curved pipe that we're going to spin around. And you can use the K, L, um, L, the K, J, L, I, and U, O keys to change the orientation of these things. Now we're just going to put that right there and spin that up. Uh, let's just put that there. Okay, let's back that up and we'll put this right here. There you go. We'll spin that up and put that up down. And now we're going to connect them. Oh, wait, actually, give me a second. We won't actually be able to do this because it will come into the way of our fluid. 
or our gas because the last one right there is our gas now this the pipes i'm bringing up right now are our exhaust pipes so this is where our exhaust is going to come out like all the fumes created by the engine this is very important if you do not have this it will fill up your engine room and your engine won't work well because it will be overwhelmed with a bunch of exhaust fluid or exhaust um smoke so i'm just going to put that up right now we're going to leave that for the moment now we're actually going to work on our gas tank and we can come down here we're going to add a pipe we're going to get an angled pipe just put straight through there and up and we'll put that down we'll put it turn around right there there we go that's nice now we're going to change this and uh, I should just make sure, yep, always make sure, you can only work with a pipe, but always make sure that you actually ha are connected to the right thing. I am connected to fuel, so that's good. Um, so now all our joints are actually connected to our engine, so that's good. Now all we get, we're going to need to do is actually seal off our boat. Uh, we also, oh, I actually forgot, we need to add a our propeller so that we can move. Now we'll just get a pipe. Now, the reason this is an enclosed pipe, you'll need to get this because if you just have a pipe going through an open hole right there, it won't work well and the water will flood into your boat and then your engine won't work. Then I don't think you want that. So we'll just add our pipe. I have to add an extra pipe because I don't have blocks right now, but we'll add a few down here. Now we'll add our propeller. Okay, that's a lot too big. That's way too big. We'll get a large propeller. There's a bunch of different sizes. So if you don't want to use a large one, you can use a smaller one or you can just use the big ones. I would suggest you use the large propeller, not the giant propeller. It'll just give you better um, performance because you, this smaller engine is not able to turn nearly as well a giant propeller. So now we're just going to get blocks. That is a very important. You should probably should have had that from the beginning, but I forgot about that. And now we're going to delete these two pipes and we're going to put down our fluid port. I'm just going to come over here. If we're going to put down our fluid port, make sure the holes are right there and you can see the um, holes right there so that you make sure that you're actually using the fluid port properly. Otherwise, you'll be basically pumping um, exhaust into yourself. Now our battery, there's not actually anything I can do with this battery later in videos to come. I'm actually going to add a generator to this and it's going to be really cool. We won't actually need a battery anymore because the generator will provide the electricity for us. So yeah, we're just going to actually come ahead and seal this off because, um, let me see. Yeah, there you go. Um, my game froze for a second. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're going to put that, there we go. So now it's sealed off. Now that we're, oh, I'll just do that. And now that we're good with that, we're going to put this in. And now we have to come into logic. This is a bit confusing at first, but um, we have uh, these red buttons. And then we also have these um, green ones. And this is WX. This is access to, and this will give us power to our engine. So as you can see, I connected it to the throttle input. So whenever we push on W or S, it will move our ship forward or backwards. Now I'm also connecting to the starter. I'm going to put that on Hawkeye or Hockey 1. So whenever you push on 1 on your computer, you will actually activate the starters on the engine and you'll start moving forward. So that's all we're going to need for the sec for the moment. And there's a bunch of other buttons on here, but we won't be using that right now. And yeah, so now our boat is done. So we're going to take it out for the first sail. Okay, so now our boat is ready. We're just going to spawn that in right there. Our boat is ready to launch or sail. So we're just going to get onto our boat right here. We're going to press on our helm. We're going to press on one. And as you can see, our propeller is now running and we're slowly moving forward. I'm now going to press on W and our propeller should start accelerating. And there you go, guys. Our boat is now finished. Thank you, guys. And hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. And we'll continue this series later. Bye.